Hello, let me welcome you to the second day of Papers for the People, a Don Novel Symposium. This symposium is supported by a Digitizing Hidden Collections grant from CLEAR, which is also made possible from funding from the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation. I'm Michael Foyt, Director of Distinctive Collections and Digital Engagement at Villanova University's Falvey Memorial Library. First, I'd like to thank the Andrew W. Mellon Foundation and to CLEAR for their support to both digitize and describe materials published by the Beadle and Adams firm, as well as for this very symposium. Next, let me thank all of the members of the team at Villanova who continue to work so very hard to preserve and describe the Don novel and more broadly, popular literature. From housing to digitization, these materials are often at risk, highly fragile, and not well described. And so there's a host of challenges to overcome to provide access. Baudry Allen, preservation and digital archivist, Laura Bang and Rebecca Oviedo, librarian archivists, and of course, Damian Katz, Director of Technology Development. Our digital library enterprise is based on digi digitizing materials, both from our own distinctive collections, as well as from a host of institutional digital partners and individual digital donors. Digitization is done freely by Villanova at our in-house digitization lab. These materials are scanned and physical copies are then returned to the owners. While Villanova maintains a perpetual digital copy under a Creative Commons license. And thus, these rare materials are made freely available to a global public in the service of scholarship and all for the greater good. Without support from our university librarian, Millicent Gaskell, our provost, Pat Majitti, and Father Peter Donahue, this service wouldn't be possible. And so I'm very grateful for their continued support in making this rare literature available to a global community. Villanova's popular collections have been grown both from physical and digital donations from a group of generous scholars and donors. And in particular, I'd like to reach out and thank some of those individuals, including Lydia Sherman, D.D. Johnson, the family of Edward T. LeBlanc, and Joseph Renaud. You've donated very generously to our collections, and we hope that we have uh, shared those with, with others um, and not just house them in our physical collections behind locked doors. And of course, if you have collections that you might consider sharing with others, please reach out to me and we can discuss uh, a digital donation uh, or a physical donation. Of course, this is the celebration of the completion of the Beetle and Adams digitization done in collaboration. But it is also a preview of the next step, which is digitization at the other end of the timeline, not from the beginning of the Don memorial, such as Arthur Westbrook of Ohio, or those who publish globally uh, and tackling the international dime novel and serial literatures. So this is an ongoing effort. Besides just the digitization efforts at dimenovels.org, we aim to create the most extensive bibliography of popular literature and volunteers are most welcome to assist us in this enterprise. We have a spirit of experimentation at Villanova as well, including reading entire dime novels, reforming, reformatting them um, with distributed proofreaders um, to make them available um, via Project Gutenberg. Um, we work with commercial uh, publishers as well to provide no cost uh, preservation images for, for publications as well. And so um, I, I think having an, a, a spirit similar to that that collaborated also online, uh, looking at the collections that have been digitized and, um, and, and getting more value and reading these uh, really, really incredible uh, uh, survivals uh, from another era. Thank you.